cousins welcome to my channel i am courtney noel and clearly i am courtney noel if you're new to my channel welcome 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 and if you are an oldie but a goldie hey girl hey hey boy hey welcome back to my channel um this video is going to be a few days in my life as a work from home nurse um so if you like child what y'all be doing when y'all working from home if you're like um didn't even know that nurses can work from home or if you just want to be plain on nosy go ahead and stay tuned to this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and ring my bell ring my bell my bell ring, -a -ling. ring my bell so you can stay notified of my weekly videos hey guys i am starting my week off it's sunday and i'm starting my week off by going to the library i have a paper due so i'm going to go finish this off before i get into some shenanigans this week um, it should be an eventful week, but yeah, keep y'all posted. Just wanted to tap in. I haven't, I want to try to do these, um, work from home nurse week in my life vlogs. Let me know if y'all like these. All right, y'all. I just made it home from um, the library. I've been in there for about, since noon till four. So I've been there about four hours. Um, I got most of my paper done. Um, I, oh, that's my neighbor. I got most of my paperwork done. Most of my paper done, I just need to kind of proofread it, add some sources and be done. Um, one of my friends just hit me up there in town. So I'm probably going to go to but I'm gonna go in here, finish this up, and then end up going to dinner with them later. So I'll take you along for with that because it's kind of one of my favorite ref restaurants here right now. I, I I'm kind of in love with this restaurant because their food is like fresh and good. So I'll take you along for that, and yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> start my my time at work my shift um i read my bible so i have my bible here close to me um there are certain scriptures that i read every day out loud and then i read a new chapter every day so um just trying to get some understanding and just get spend time and get closer to god and getting his word and know what it says and actually something that I was reading today was like, well, I didn't know that was a promise. So I encourage y'all to read y'all Bible. If y'all want to know what I'm reading, um, or if y'all want to do like a Bible study or have a discussion about reading the Bible, drop some comments below. I know it's pink. Oh, and fun fact. So I actually read out a children's Bible. I know, you know, you guys might be all advanced, but I read out of a children's Bible because for me, um, it makes the explanation plain and I think this is like a uh, This is a new living translation uh, I believe it's new living translation so like when I read it just kind of for like simple context But when I'm ready, um, oh, it's the Christian standard Bible okay. But when I'm ready to um, really just get some true understanding I also, I do look at the Blue Letter Bible. That's an app I read, um, and I use the Bible app for different translations. So your New Living Translation, your Message Bible, I do use that as well. So yes, every morning I say my prayers, my gratefulness prayers, my gratefulness, I spend some time with God. But most importantly, I read my word and I read it out loud because the Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And how I hear the word of God is when I read it out loud. <laughs> And so the next thing I do is um, I try to plan my day, which I'm going to start doing this at night, I think. I think I'm going to change it up, but I have a planner and I um, plan what my day is going to be like, what things that I have to do as far as personal life, professional life. I just put it school. It goes in here. So I remember to do it and I have a to-do list for that day. So those are the two things that I do prior to starting my work shift. So let me know if you want a detailed uh a detailed video on either or like how i start my work day do you want me to show you how i do my devotional my devotion my time with god you want me to show you how i plan my day let me know okay so 
here we go. So when we talk about the tomb and night rule and we hear the tomb and night rule, that concept is not a new concept to us. What is a new concept to us is the new regulations that went into effect starting the beginning of this year, where the tomb and night rule is now applying to the Medicare Advantage plans. So some of the things that we wanted to touch base on uh, CMS has given some updates and we want to provide you with those updates. What we should expect when we're looking through medical records to support that two midnight stay. We also have some examples of how the payers are now sending us a, uh, denial letters with updated verbiage and then a couple examples of cases that we were able to appeal um, versus not appeal. Um, today I had meetings um, in my at my job, I'm currently I work in denials and appeals, so um, we have we have biweekly meetings. Um, we have bi we have biweekly meetings, um, just about things to catch up and things that are pressing within our department. And I work from the healthcare provider side for healthcare, a major healthcare system. So anyway. Um, the big thing that's going on, I'm sure you probably heard, and I try, heard, tried to give you a little blurb of what my coworker was seeing. There is this new two midnight rule. Well, it's not a new rule, but CMS is. If you don't know who CMF is, CMF C. If you don't know who CMS is, it is the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services. They are enforcing this rule called the two midnight rule, and the two midnight rule is basically a rule that. Um, well, how would I say it? it's a rule that um, supports reimbursement for a, a patient stay in the hospital. And now before the rule was in place that managed Medicare providers had to honor the two midnight rule, but it was not enforced. So now as of January 1st, 2024, that rule is being enforced to manage Medicare providers that they must acknowledge the two midnight rule. So during this 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 um, meeting, it was stressed um, of just trying to get an understanding of how as denials, our denials team is going to um, combat any denials that we get for the two midnight rule from the managed care Medicare payers. So it was a pretty interesting thing. I'm actually writing about this topic for um, my one of my projects uh, for my MBA. So um, in healthcare reimbursement class that I am in. And so this is, it's, it's going to help me with that process. So it was, it's, it's good to be in that space. So that was that. As far as my work for today, um, today I have, I'm on a project where I'm reviewing about a hundred and 140 plus cases. Uh, I'm responsible for reviewing 140 plus cases to determine, um, how do I, how should I explain this? To determine, um, the appropriateness for appeals and if it's not for an appeal uh, from a denial standpoint what department does it belong to does it belong to admitting does it belong to coding um, I'm just doing a like a basically a deep dive into where these cases should drop because we're going to start in implementing a new information technology system so we're just trying to um, understand the pathway so that way the new system that comes in can understand the workflow Hope I'm explaining that right. So that's what I'll be doing for the rest of the day. All right, y'all. <clears throat> so it's around 3 o'clock, 3.30-ish, and I'm eating lunch. So today I'm going to have leftovers. My mom made, it doesn't look pleasing, aesthetically pleasing, but she made some baked chicken, cabbage, and pigeon peas and rice. So that's what I'm eating for lunch. I have my water. So that's what I'll have for now. Um... Yeah, today's been quite busy um, as far as... I was really sleepy today. I was tired today. So, yeah, I, it was a little struggle to get through. But, you know, we do what we can when we can. Um try to think if anything interesting came up, if any interesting cases came up. I have a quick minute. Um... No, I haven't. But if I find like an interesting case in a sense that like where you could determine where in, it's inpatient or ops, I won't of course give names or any specific details, but just like a general topic so that way you guys can try to figure it out on your own and tell me your thoughts. So I'll try to, as I'm reviewing, I'll try to see if I find I can find a good one. But yeah, so I'm going to eat my lunch and then I'll be back.
four is as is process modeling. And then that's where all the lucid charts come in. So we don't have anything okay. under the process okay. definition in oh I was gonna say I don't have anything underneath that either. So we don't have anything under process definition in um repository? Correct. Oh, but that's the data tables. That's what they're yep. creating now. So yep. two point three and two point four is what we're what we're doing now. The charts, all the, the charts, charts and the, the diagrams. diagrams and all of that. So listen, I need alignment. Anyways, um, so today, y'all, I don't know if y'all heard me, but I'm gonna say it again. Today, y'all, I did absolutely nothing. When I tell y'all I was off from work today and I did not a thing. I didn't do a thing, baby. I, I, I laid in my bed. I talked on the phone. I got up. I was like, you know what? Let me go. I left my laptop downstairs on purpose to make me get out the bed and do some work. I got out the bed, got my laptop, ain't do a damn thing. So I'm just like, wow. So my friend is here from the Virgin Islands. And um, we're going to go out for a happy hour. Fort Lauderdale so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to come back home and do some work because I do have a paper that I need to turn in tonight you know I need to finish up on this paper so that is exactly what I'm going to do but I I just I, I guess I needed to get out and get myself out of the house but yeah so I'm gonna take y'all along for that tomorrow the class for school tomorrow my classes for school are completely online so yeah that that those days i'm not gonna lie they're challenging because they talk all day like literally for four hours one teacher talks for another four hours another teacher talks straight online and i just girl but it is what it is so yeah I, i'm gonna call y'all back when i um when i get to the spot See happy hour working on my paper <clears throat> so yeah you know you balance work hard play harder i just dropped it just dropped a video on youtube y'all be going up like i don't know y'all don't know how much those comments really be meaning to me when y'all comment because i really be trying to you know, it really keeps me motivated. I'm going to just say that. So let me get back to it because I want to have this paper done. And he wants 10 references. I got eight. It's really like a strong seven. So, yeah. Sis got to do a little something, something to make it shake. All right, bye. Hey, guys. Happy Sunday. So I am just leaving Target. I don't know what they got going on in Target um, in their cosmetics. But baby, they had all these little products marked down and I'm mad because something told me to come to Target during the week, but I was procrastinating. They had so much stuff on sale. The girlies done wipe them clean out. But if you're near Target, go to the cosmetic section, especially for in my area for darker tones. They had so much makeup, like so much foundation for the low. When I get to, I have to go to Sephora um, because I'm, I'm going to get a gift for a friend. But uh, I'm going to show you when I get to the parking lot what I brought from Target. Because I brought that little cute Keurig K-Cup, like the single one. I finally broke down and got one because I'm like, why, I'm, why do I boil my, my water on the stove in the kettle? I don't even know. But anyway, so once I park up at Sephora, I'm going to come back on here. Uh, we're going to go. We have some things to do today. So we're going to go out gonna go we went to target we're gonna go to sephora i don't know that we're gonna go we might go see camille and give her her, her gift possibly because i need to clean up and then i need to report some content for y'all so we're gonna see depending on the time and we need to go to walmart because girl i don't got no groceries and it's a shame that i don't got no groceries in my house 
a real deal shame. Like, when I get hungry right about now, like, I'm in there doing stuff together. Like, what the heck? Oh, oh, this don't even go together. So, those are my things I have to do. So, I, I, I'll feel better if I buy the makeup for her and have it in my possession. Because it's like a shade. It's not, in, it's not in stock all the time. So, I'm going to grab that. And um, and if even if I don't give it to her today, I'll get it to her this week, this upcoming week. So, be right back. I'll call y'all back. All right, y'all. They got me. This the second time I done did this. I've gone into these stores looking for something for someone else. And I done came out with a whole bunch of crap. So, let's start... Ugh. With Target, so at Target, y'all, they had these cute these Keurigs for five ninety nine. I meant to say, not five ninety child fifty nine ninety nine, and I thought the pink one was so cute, so I went ahead and I got the pink one for fifty nine ninety nine. So child, it was I was being supposed to pick it up. That's why I said I should have went to Target, cause if I would have went on time, then um i would have had i would have saw those the makeup stuff on sale but anyways from target i got these baby i love these beauty blenders the these beauty blenders hitting so i got this because i i needed to redo it and i was just getting stuff so i got this from ColourPop. it's a eye primer let me tell you how much i paid for this <clears throat> I paid $5 for this. I got um, CoverGirl. I'm hoping this will get close to my, we're gonna see. But this was $4.99. The lip bar. This was, this powder was $3.89. I don't know what made me get this. It, I thought it was pretty, but um, this was $2.99. Then I got this, uh, so this is Black Opal Translucent Powder. And I got this for $3.60, $3.60. And then I've been wanting this, cause the girly say like this to give you a nice look. So I don't know if it's gonna match my color, but we'll see. This is Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation in a Powder, and it was four dollars and 19 cents so yeah i felt like you know i did my big one but of course i went in the sephora don't go in sephora just stay out of sephora stay out of ulta stay out of sephora just don't do it and so i i oh i need a good i ran out of primer I've been using this one from Sephora that I had for a long time. I'm not gonna lie, I think it's really good. But I just heard this was good. This is the Milk um, Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer. And like, I'm starting to like see my pores more. So this is why I got this. I got this Small Huda Baby Bake and it's in banana powder. I think this is the one the girls be talking about, banana powder. So I got that one. And I've been wanting to try the Charlotte Tilbury um, charlotte tilbury setting spray right now i use elf so i want to see if i feel a difference like does this make make a difference in my makeup because for whatever reason like i'm returning back to like 20 20 20 2016 20 like in my makeup vibe because the one time i was like completely over the moon about makeup so i'm starting to get back into it this side okay so i tried um the eye brightener from rihanna this is i think almond butter no honey almond and then this side is almond butter and i kind of feel like i like the lighter shade better and i feel like that's the thing with me is that i i buy foundation darker than i need to buy it and i don't know if that's because i be like i'm not that light but when i get home it's like off so i'm trying to really like buy excuse me buy um foundations and concealers that truly match my skin and give me the look because i think that that's that be a big part of the issue when it comes to this and so yeah so right now what time is it after three 
I'm about to head home. I still didn't get the foundation for her. This is this is horrible. Oh yeah, just wanted to pop in here. Like I am when I say I'm like trying to do. I'm not gonna lie. I really like that eye under eye thing from Rihanna uh, from Fenty. So yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Like I'm gonna show y'all like the the way I want to be able to beat my face like this. Savannah is giving the girls fever. And if I can learn how to beat my face like this at home, baby, you will not. And I'm not saying my face is going to look like her, but just how flawless and natural and snatched she looks. That's the look I'm trying to be able to achieve at my yard. So if when I can achieve that, baby, it's over for the streets. Hang it up. Okay? Just hang it up. So, yeah, I needed to pop back in and say that. Uh-uh, mister.